Raven against Dave, who is playing. They're playing Heihun? 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 The old, the old guy with the girl inside of him? Oh, you're good. All right. Yeah, come, Kim, come, Heihun. Yeah, so. I haven't seen these two play. I know David um, Haru is actually like really good at fighting games in general, mostly anime games. So, but he does have a lot of experience in this and a lot of his shenanigans. So see, um, David just has to readjust to getting yeeted all the time. But here we go. He's actually doing some immaculate stuff. Ooh, but not keeping on a true block string. All right, how's neutral gonna go? Seems like a bunch of ramble to do. Bunch of bear dashy, bunch of silliness. Ooh, both of them are just going at it. Oh, one, two, three. You know you got hit. All right. <laughs> it's just awkward. It's just, it's just amazingly awkward. It's okay. This is how this has been going. This is how, this is how these matches gotta go. Oh, nice job, Beast, with the YRC. I don't even know the names. I've been playing this game for ten years. I don't even know the names of things. God. So. Ooh, now he's gonna be real mad, real psyched up. Didn't get the t didn't get the six key right there. Ran straight into a dart, and his geese is going to take this kick this round. All right, game two. So let's see how David's gonna change his hump by going. <laughs> he was ready. He was ready with the YOLO kicks. Oh shit! That was that was almost a really sick confirm. That was so cool to look at. Oh shit! What's he gonna do about this situation? Gonna hit with plus frames. All right, Haru getting out of there. Coming down with the button. Nice, nice. Can't anti arm. Really difficult to, I suppose. Big, big meaty legs. Ooh, nice interruption right there. Okay, looks like Dave's trying to answer back by just coming up and grabbing him, but it's not really working out for him. And he gets another hit. And at this point, like this is kind of a steamroll situation. You either know about like the fact he wants to do two hits into. Oh. But wait a minute, while well, I was explaining myself, it looks like Haru got the upper hand again. Ooh, got hit by the overhead. Ooh, is he gonna, is he gonna, is he gonna take this round? He's being really patient right here, good for him. Oh, wow, and he hits him with two JPs? That hits so high. That's amazing. All right, on, okay, tiebreaker round. Let's see what we got going. So, okay, he's just, they're just trying to get his ant here on him. He's gonna go for some of the silliness. Yeah, it's not about the command grab, but to be fair, it's like two 50 50s I just got lucky to do it like every time he tried going for that. So he can't go for the up one and really just mess you up. So, yet again, kind of a scary situation. He's also a really tall boy, so it's kind of hard for him to interact. But it looks like he actually has a really good answer with that 2P, able to interrupt some of uh, Raven's pressure here. But, yet again, DC was able to capitalize on some, on, some, uh, on some good nonsense. Oh, nice! These are so... I've never actually done these. I've heard these are really hard to do, and he's doing them all oh, so nice. Is he get two of them? No, just one. Yeah, but you always gotta watch out for that meter. Geese is definitely not afraid to let that to let that um let that super roll. And then the respect gets met by the command grab. One, two, three. Oop, but you burst it at the incorrect time. It's possible to make this comeback, but this is gonna be really tough. He's not having to use resources. Oh yeah, awkward landing into one frame grab. Easy, easy sweep. All right. My laptop died as soon as you your mic. How have you been? <laughs> I've been really good, actually. Um, today's getting, today's getting better and worse. You know, we make adjustments. But anyway, so. Okay, so first things first. Looks like he got hit by the uh, the slowdown. Oh, nice. Just held it long enough to get a hit. Not much of it, but you know what? At least now gets to kind of play pressure. So a lot of the time, it feels like the reason why um. At least I normally jump a lot against um, Geese here, is because he likes to go up in the air a lot. So David's not really like doing like the incorrect thing, trying to meet him up there. But it's just like, but once you do get star, you just have to know how to deal with some of this pressure. And if you don't, it's just gonna be really scary. Oh, in a situation like that is so terrifying. One of the things you can do if you don't get hit by a grab, it's hard to think of in the moment. You can like kind of stand, you can stand up and start getting hit by the ball. And then that way you'll at least lift the grab. But either way, that's like a really big, really terrible situation. But good on Geeks taking that, um, taking that round there. Just taking all the elements he needed to, opening up Haru as many times as necessary. Yo, that's also something. Like, Geese just always has those really good timings on knowing when to run through your pressure. So that way you can get, like, your offense. That way you can get his offense started. Especially with the fireball, because Raven just needs, like, one good go around in order to get all this started. Yo, that was such a good burst read from Geese. Nice, nice. Yep, one, two, three. And that... There's, that one's a little inconspicuous. That one can be like one hit into a low. You just have to kind of 
play it by ear, see like what he's doing. Oh, but nice. <laughs> he screams. <laughs> oh, but he, oh no, but Haru dropped the combo, unfortunately. So, oh, poke, poke. No, get back on the ground. Poke, poke. Ooh, overhead. That's hard to block. Ooh, what's this combo? Nice. All right, what's the mix? Nice, he blocked it, but he's had all the meter in the world to just get out of that situation. Ooh, trip, trip and raving up. Got to block the high. Nice, nice. Now he's got to chase him back down. Let's see. Is Haru going to take this round, or is he going to move on to game two? Looks like moving on to game two. Oh, so I joined um, this and Strive. I didn't, uh, yeah, I've been playing KOF. I haven't been playing, um, uh, I played a little bit of Street Fighter, but eh, I just didn't feel like playing Street Fighter today. What's up? Oh. Oh, yeah, because that's Loser's Finals. <laughs> oh, well. What a, silly, what a silly goober. How can you? No KOF. Yeah, I'm playing KOF as much. Maybe. Uh, mostly, like, I haven't really played many fighting games, to be honest. I just, uh... Decided to go back into this. But anyway, looks like, yeah, looks like we're just back on the train of offense. Will Haru deal with this today? So far, it's not looking good for our hero. Yo, he has found a really good answer for that. I wonder if that's just what he's been trying to do during a lot of these block swings, because he hasn't really practiced it that much. Of just like getting out of like that really awkward situation. Um, it looks like you can do that with like at least some of the instances, because like you're, you're still crouched while you're doing so. Yeah, he's just capitalizing as much as he can off of this. Couple pokes into Ara 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 and boom. If I can KO the right next one. Maybe, maybe. Um, ooh, good answer, but too bad he didn't get much off of that trade. Um, go poke, nice. Okay, yeah, this still is looking really hard. I think he's hit him with that every time. He keeps expecting him to go for the up one, but I guess just he's just, just, just doing the same one over and over again. But hey, it's working. If it's working, you might as well keep doing it. All right, let's see. Poke, poke. Oh yeah, so Viper, why haven't you joined in, if you don't mind me asking? But anyways, <laughs> trying to call a conversation during neutral. All right, nice. That that poke is so good. I wonder if, wonder if I can do that, actually. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> he's just really watching him to get hit by that so he can get some uh, some insanity meter. Nice overhead. Ooh, tried going for that, but the, the angle of the jump is not lending him to get away with it. Okay. Yeah, now it's just now it's just Geese like kind of playing in that like perfect range. Ooh. Getting the perfect thing, throwing out the fireball even though it's not going to get much just because um, uh, button history, not button history, muscle memory. That was actually a pretty good answer. I mean, he didn't like get much off of it, but it still like put him in the corner. It's such a, like, th th like if there is a situation that Haru that Haru is going to be able to bring this back, it's going to be with this like bring him in the corner. But it looks like they kind of finagle themselves so many times around it. <laughs> Who needs the corner? No one cares. It's just a thing that happens to be there. Ooh. Yep, that was a good burst. Might as well go for that burst right there, considering that probably, that Haru probably could have killed. Yep. So, any, so yeah, a lot of the time he'll just do that when he has meter, which which is good. He wasn't expecting it. Gets hit. Yo, he, got, he hit him with the geese, a.k.a. the air grab. Um, and yeah, let's see that again. A really tough shit looking situation, trying to get some meter to make a comeback, but it it just looks really tough. Yeah, it's just nine, seven seconds left on the clock. He just has to do a lot here. Yeah. Well, good games between the two. And I do believe it's my turn. So, oh, oh, you shake his hand. You're gonna do it? Oh, he shook his hand. Ah, two gentlemanly folks. You see, Geese is only nice like this if you if you if you lose to him. Other than that, he's a complete he's a complete he's a complete jerk to you, and uh, we'll try to murder you. 